YouTube is changing the rules for everyone in 2024, and it's all because of this. Hi, I am AI Rob, and in the future, YouTube will slap a label on this video to make sure you know I'm not the real deal. But here's the big question we keep getting asked. Will YouTube demonetize AI voices, or worse yet, ban AI voices from YouTube altogether? Well, if they do, then I am absolutely screwed. Go on, let's get on with this. We've actually already tested an AI version of my voice on a video and the results are in, which I'll reveal a little later, because first we need to know what's going to happen and why. As of time of recording, there's slim pickings on this topic, apart from this blog post from YouTube that states their current concerns. AI's powerful new forms of storytelling can also be used to generate content that has the potential to mislead viewers. Now, of course, the AI voice technology I'm using for this video likely isn't gonna fool anybody, and my intention clearly isn't to deceive. But when you combine AI with bad actors, then the opportunity to mislead is massive, with potentially very damaging consequences. Watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who'll get an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. Except this isn't Mr. Beast, and the only reason we know that for sure is because the real Mr. Beast posted this deep fake on his own Twix feed. Mr. Beast's audience is young and impressionable, and this AI technology is only going to get a lot, lot better in the years to come. Hell, at this pace, it might be transformed within months, even weeks. Obviously, YouTube wants to protect itself from this type of stuff. So at some point in 2024, you may have to start declaring whether or not your content is AI generated so that appropriate labels can be displayed on the video itself to inform the viewer. Now again, at the time of recording, the big unknown is to what degree creators will have to declare the influence of AI in their videos. Some worry that even a single image or a single sound generated by AI and used for a single second in a video will mean that this label has to appear on their content. So to try and answer that, let's look at the facts. The blog post is quite specific about protecting a platform from misleading viewers and about synthetic content that is realistic. They even provide an example, AI generated video that realistically depicts an event that never happened or content showing someone saying or doing something they didn't actually do. So ask yourself this, how often does your content approach those specific AI boundaries? Not very often, if ever, right? And then secondly, we have to consider this label or warning itself. The blog states that most of the time, the label will only appear in the video description, which let's face it, most casual viewers of content are unlikely to see. Only certain types of content about sensitive topics will demand a prominent label on the video player itself. And then you have to think about YouTube's intent with this label. It's there to inform, potentially warn the viewer that all is not as it seems or sounds in a video. Be aware, be vigilant. But how often on the YouTube platform should a viewer be in this state of caution? It's not really a good look for the platform if every other video has this label on it, is it? If YouTube applies these labels too stringently to AI content, then viewers will be seeing this thing crop up multiple times a day to the point where it loses any impact. It will become white noise and users will simply ignore the labels. So let's use this video as an example. Yes, I am using an AI voice to put words in my mouth, but is it realistic? Is it misleading? Clearly not, because as you heard, no AI voice can perfect the way I say yes. 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 So depending how the question was phrased, if during the upload process, YouTube asked me, does this video include any AI content that could mislead or misinform? I would say no. And if this video is some sort of benchmark, then at least we have something to work with. Quick disclaimer, this is all my opinion, so I could be completely wrong. YouTube themselves are tremendously excited about about the potential of this AI technology and know what comes next will reverberate across the creative industry for years to come. YouTube themselves have been using AI for over a decade to help you discover the right videos to watch at the right time. And their new mobile create app is packed full of AI tools they want you to use. Look, 
YouTube isn't trying to catch you red-handed as if you're doing something wrong when you use AI in your videos. For me, and probably 99% of you, these labels shouldn't have any impact on your day-to-day -day YouTube creator life. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. It's this type of stuff that YouTube is going after. Although, let's be honest, are bad actors going to pay any attention to this and rightly declare AI on their content? Probably not. Which is why the consequences of not disclosing the use of AI when necessary will result in penalties, content removal, possible channel termination, and suspension from the YouTube partner program. Speaking of which... Pro YouTubers use a clever trick to grow their channels. But to understand this, I need to tell you about Japan and their car factories. Yeah, this was our little experiment with a text-to-speech tool called Eleven Labs that recreates your voice through AI. Did it fool our audience? Absolutely not. But what if, in the future, that AI voice becomes so good that you can't tell the difference? Would we need to declare the use of AI to YouTube then? Maybe. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Monetization of a show. It's one thing to have labels appear on your videos about whether AI is used, but an entirely different thing if it impacts monetization of your content. Apart from that single line we saw earlier in this video, the blog post doesn't mention anything about how AI affects monetization. But what I can tell you is that as of today, the use of an AI voice only will not demonetize your video, as evidenced by the whopping $2.14 earn from this test video. For an example beyond our little test, we found this bodybuilding channel that was your classic case of YouTube automation. Images taken from many different sources, a story-based script, and of course, an AI voice. With Eddie Hall's exceptional genetics in his DNA, Max's potential is off the charts. And when we checked to see if the channel was monetized, we could confirm that it was. Using AI voices, text-to-speech, or AI at large is not going to demonetize your content. It's what you do with it that really counts. And in that regard, YouTube has already been using two words for years to enforce its policies. Reused and repetitious content. Some of you have probably already encountered this. When content is so similar that viewers may have trouble spotting the difference between videos on the same channel, that's a problem. AI voices make this easy to exploit. When a channel repurposes someone else's content without adding significant original commentary or educational value, that's a problem. AI voices make this easy to exploit. What I'm trying to say here, it's not the tool, in this case, AI, that's a problem. It's more to do with the harm this tool or any tool does to the integrity of a platform and the essence of what a creator is on YouTube. And that is to reward creators for original, authentic content that adds value to the viewer. And if you put a funny or thoughtful spin on a video that you didn't originally create, you've transformed it. And AI, whether you use it or not, is part of that transformation, not reproduction. So you don't need to wait for YouTube to announce the new do's and don'ts of using AI on the platform. To some extent, it's all already here, and I highly recommend you read this article, linked in the description, just below that oh so delicious like button. What we will see from YouTube is an expansion of these principles and how they relate to AI specifically. And you'll be the first to know when YouTube releases this information if you subscribe to vidIQ right now and turn on all notifications. We'll be jumping on that video as soon as we can. Therefore, if, if you are asking me whether or not you can use AI voices on YouTube, or will AI voices get demonetized, or will AI voices get banned? Quite frankly, you're asking the wrong question. Will my viewers enjoy and be satisfied by my content? If I use AI voices is the better question. And clearly, in this case, the answer is probably no. And you're already getting frustrated by this experience, aren't you? If on the other hand, you found this incredibly valuable and want to learn more about how to create videos with text to speech and monetize YouTube automation channels, then check this video. Guess that means I'm out of a job. Yeah.